Would you like to learn how to not have to open up your protected templates to change some conditions because based on the area that the template's being installed? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that and I'm gonna show you that now. All right, let's get this party rocking and rolling. Badgers playing Ohio State later today. Badgers going to kick some ass. Anyway, let's get, I wanted to pump this video out. Hopefully it'll be a short one, not as long as usual. And we're going to talk about how we can use bot fields to, let's say, check service areas, check... Let's say you're asking your subscriber some question. Uh, it may be that, you know, what zip code are you in? Or what are you looking for? Where are you looking for service? Uh, it could be, you know, products. It could be whatever you want to search uh, or just make sure that you, as a business, cover that area or uh, service that kind of product or whatever it is. And with the, so what you want is you want to ask your subscriber for that data and then check it against a condition. And a lot of times what we do is we list them out in conditions. I'm going to show you what normally what we do, but with the protected templates, you know, the mini chat protected templates, you know, they've given us this great feature to control our asset, our flows, our template so that it doesn't get abused, doesn't get shared and stuff like that. Though, let's say you, within that flow, and we're just going to use the example of, you know, you service certain states or you service certain zip codes or areas. So if you do that, you want to make sure that, you know, you can't, you're not going to give an estimate or, you know, whatever you're doing for them within the bot, uh, that you're not going to, you know, you want to make sure that you are enabled to, to give them value or give them service. Sorry. So what we want to do is make it the easiest possible. And like I said, I referenced the protected templates earlier that, you know, with the protected templates, we don't want anybody going into the flows to change them. So let's say you're servicing a zip code area and you're only servicing five zip codes, you're going to have a condition that has all those five zip codes in, and you're going to have to change that because let's say you sell that template to somebody in a different area of the country and they service different zip codes. That's got to be changed. What's the easiest way to do that? Well, with protected templates, you'd have to open it up, have them change it and come in. And well, then you opened up your asset again. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can do that very easily and be able to keep your template closed and allow the purchaser of that template, business owner, agency, whatever, to make changes uh, for the service areas without opening up the flows. All right, we're gonna get to that. First thing though, I wanna ask you, if you're liking these videos, please hit the like button and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel click the little bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. We're going to move on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at some flows, but first what we're going to do is we're going to look at settings. Well, actually, let's do this. So let's just say we have a situation where you're going to check zip codes. All right. And I have, let's say, BM zip. Um, let me see here. Let's see which one that I'm actually using. Arizip. So I'm just going to do that. All right. Arizip. Now, oh, I'll get to the something I have to share. <laughs> so Arizip uh, contains, let's say, 53022. All right. So that's the first one. Now you're going to change this to any so that you would be able to um, service. So let's say I'm servicing certain areas and I'm going to say contains 53051. All right. So now what's going to happen is 
it's going to look and say, okay, yeah, I match that. Yeah, I match that. And so what would happen, and I could uh, easily connect this. Oh, that's not the one. That's for the state. We're going to disconnect this one, and we're going to bring this up over there to check what zip code. And then we're going to, you don't have to really do this one. Um, I'm just showing you what normally what we would do. All right. So this is what we do. We create a, a condition that would check the zip codes that we service. And so I'm going to run that. Is it going to come up and enter zip code? Get myself out of the way there. Enter zip code 53022. And it would say, yeah, we service 53022. And that would be the messages that I'm sending out here saying we service or we don't service. All right. So I'm going to run it again and I'm going to put 53026. And it's going to say, no, sorry, we don't service that area. So it's a way. The thing is, is with the protected templates, you're going to have to open up this template in order to change this for anybody that doesn't work in those zip codes. Let's say they bought the template. Well, we can fix that by one, creating a, um, creating a bot field. So what I want you to do is you're going to create a bot field and let's call it, I'm going to call it zips. So here it is. And that's a text field. And now what we're going to do is this, we're going to put the zip codes that we cover in there. The great thing about that is when the template is installed, you can have the business, the person that's installing the template actually enter these at install time, or they can do it like I am after the fact. You're not going to create the field to always be there because it's going to come in the template. But what you can do is you can just say that, let's say, I'm going to call it, I'm just going to call it zips uh, again. And then you just put your zip codes in there with a comma, 5305, oh, let's say 5-1. And so you just list them out in there, all right? And that's what I did with this. That's this one right here, zips right there, text and the zip codes and zips that are serviced. So now what we can do is I'm going to disconnect this guy. Come on. And uh, I'm going to disconnect these. All right. And then we're going to connect these back up. And what they're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to ask for a zip and I just do a text. The type of CUF or custom user field, which is this RE zip, has to match the bot field. So make the obviously make the bot field text. When we created that, you're going to create it as a text field right there. Even though you're collecting a number, you're going to make it a text. And then you want to make the zip code a text as well. Um, I have not tried it with a number, but this does work. So you do zip. So we're going to save it. And then we're going to do a uh, next step, continue the next step there. And then we're going to do a condition. Checking zips, the bot field, contains the zip code that we entered. All right. And make sure that the case sensitivity is off. All right. And then, uh, yes, we service the zip, the zip. Sorry, we do not service the zip. All right, those are the questions. Um, so, and I'm gonna get rid of this. All right, so now we're gonna preview that again. And it's gonna say enter zip. I'm gonna say 53022. And say, yeah, we service that. And then I'm gonna preview it again. And I'm going to enter 53026. And you say, oh, sorry, we do not service 53026. So 
what we've done is we've replaced that condition, but what it's going to happen is it's going to, when you install a protected template, you don't have to open up the flows to fix them, you know, to, to modify that condition that had all the zip codes in. All they have to do is they have to go to this zip field and change it. So let's say we're going to change it to 53026, 53084. So somebody else bought it. And it's a little different. So now we preview it and I go 53022. It's going to say we don't service it. So it made it so slick that you can actually, um, actually allow the changes to happen in the bot field outside of the template. Uh, let's look at another example. I use this, I've used this on a couple things. I'm just sharing this tip. I'm using it actually with our clean service bot, uh, checking areas. And now let's say we're gonna do state. So let's say you uh, have certain states that you work with. And so let's go to settings and I created another field called states. This time, though, what I did is I put the two, -digit two uh, abbreviation of the state and then the full name of the state by commas, all right? And so what we're going to do is I'm going to move this. Okay, we got that. I'm going to publish it. And so all I did is I have a user input field that collects the state. Whatever they enter, it's a text field. And again, we created a text field for the states here. And um, and then we're just going to do a condition. We're going to check the condition. We're going to check states, which is the bot field. Oops. States with the bot field against the CUF. Make sure the case sensitivity is off, especially in this one, because it is case. It's not just numbers. And then we're going to send out the same messages. All right. So we're going to preview that. And it's going to say enter state. And so I'm going to enter Illinois capital letters it's going to say uh oh, we do not service illinois so let's try this again and say enter state i'm going to say this uh, wisconsin and i have a capital letter at the beginning and a small letter oh you service wisconsin awesome and you can see that i had all lowercase here our case and it does work as long as you make sure that on the condition um, on here, here and take the case sensitivity off. Awesome changes that the mini chat dev team did, but basically that's it. So what you do is one, it's taking the input or the changes of the flow and putting them into a bot field that makes it so much easier to change around and they don't have to, you don't have to open up the protected template. That concludes our video for today on how to use bot fields to not have to open up your mini chat protected templates when you're using a condition block that needs to be changed. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And as always, like the video, share it across the world, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Click the little bell so you do get notification when I upload a new video. Over here, or actually over here, I do have a couple of videos, check them out. Also down in the description, I have a link to a great Facebook group. Come on and join us. And as always, have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.